Hi there, today I'm unboxing a Western Digital My Passport 4 terabyte portable hard disk. This particular disk was purchased from Amazon for around £95. Generally retails for around £150. Saw it on offer and I needed to be able to back up some of my data I have. So I thought, bit of a bargain here, so let's give it a go. So let's have a quick look around the packaging. Nothing too fancy about it, just basic details about it. Multi-languages here and there. Okay, let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, comes in a, a plastic container and that just gently opens up like so. USB cable, the actual hard disk, and some instructions. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. Let's quickly see the actual instructions you get it with it. Open that up just general warranty and information in a number of different languages. Okay. The actual cable you get for transferring data. Quite a nice, thick, chunky cable. Not very long, just a note. So if I get my ruler and hold it against there, it's probably around 40 centimeters on average. Build quality is really good. If I show the actual ends of the cable, nice chunky connector on there and a USB 3 transfer cable. So it's good. So it's both USB 2 and 3 compatible, but build quality of the cable is really nice. Okay, so the actual hard disk itself comes wrapped in plastic. Okay, very shiny. Looks like it's prone to fingerprints. So we'll just take this off. So this is just a standard hard disk, a spinning drive. It's not a SSD or a hard um, or a hybrid drive. Okay, quite compact in size. Let's give you some sizing on there. Okay, height-wise, you're talking around 11 centimeters. Width is around eight and depth is around two. So a nice compact hard disk. Tough plastic around, obviously glossy around the top chunk. Got some serial number details there. It's got some rubber pads. Oh, if I show from here and see it. See if you put it on your desk, it should just remain stable. Okay, and looking around, all you've got is one connection point, which is here. And that's where you plug in this cable. And the other end can go to your computer or your phone. Okay, so for our first test, we're gonna plug the hard disk into a laptop. So obviously I've got my laptop here, USB points here, I'm gonna plug it in lights turned on just a white led indicating this power there doesn't require any additional power which is good didn't want something else to plug in it's plug and play as well so should automatically just open up so i've already plugged this in and it did ask me what i wanted to do on connecting this hard disk so i said just open up explorer so just to note, if I go here and then go to properties. So the first thing to show, and uh, there's a free space, it's four terabytes, and that sort of equates to this amount. So 3.63 terabytes. Now, if we look what's on the drive itself, we've got a few files on there. There's a W 
D Discovery EXE. There's a user manual link and there's a few other bits and pieces. You don't have to use these, you can if you want to uh, and have a play around, but I've got no use for them. So first of all, I've got a disk info app here. So let's have a look at the actual disk itself. So showing the health status is good. Temperature is 31 degrees. In terms of rotation speed or the rotation rate, you can say it's 5,400 RPM. So that's some basic details about it. Next, let's do a benchmark test on there. So let's select the drive. So the E drive just here and let's run it now. So this will do read and write benchmark tests on it. Okay, so the benchmark test has completed and they're the sort of outputs we're getting. So for a sequential read and write, we're getting a similar value, so 120 megabytes per second both ways. But these values are, the other ones are depending on like where the clusters are placed. So speeds would generally be different relating to those. So the main ones we want to be concerned with is these. So it's consistent generally in terms of read and write and you're going to get a good sort of speed on this. Okay, so another thing worth mentioning is the drive comes with an NTFS file system on there. Okay, as the drive is NTFS, it's not going to be compatible with Android, but one thing I can show is if it can be powered up by a phone. So if you wanted to use it with a Android device, you'd have to format the drive to FAT32. So let's plug it in and see what happens. So there you go. It is connected. And I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there you go. The light's flashing away, so there's connectivity there. And I can actually feel the drive spinning. So it does appear, but you can't actually see any data only because it is NTFS. So in theory, if you formatted it, it should work and you should be able to connect to it directly. So quite useful, but obviously you do have to format it. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing of this portable hard disk. You've seen how easy it is to plug in and access on your laptop. It can even connect to an Android device as I've shown, but obviously you can't access the data on there because it's NTFS and NTFS isn't compatible with Android. What you could actually do is partition it up into smaller partitions and then connect it to your Android device and that could work. So there you go, a nice little portable drive, ample amount of storage. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.